Well, butter my bread and call it toast. Another action-packed edition of the Maui News Sports Report is here. I'm Rob, he's Jordan, and Jordan, you've pointed out all season that perhaps the biggest story going on this spring is the unbeaten run of the Hana boys volleyball team. Yeah, just what's been so impressive to me is that as a Division II team, they're, they're playing a full Division I schedule. They've got to play all the Division I teams. They've got to go and play uh, Division II powerhouse, really. Seabury Hall has won a state championship in boys' volleyball. And to do that and be unbeaten after the regular season has just been, I think, magical for that program. Unfortunately, kind of another chapter written into this season has been the, you know, the tragic passing of senior Isaiah Puakima, a starter on that Dragon Volleyball program, an all-star in the MIL uh, eight-man football season uh, after a tragic car accident this past weekend. And uh, the HANA community really coming together, rallying behind the Puakima families, uh, the HANA volleyball program, that whole school and that whole community really rallying together. Uh, and it's been just a tough week for those people out in HANA. And uh, they did get an opportunity, though, on Friday as part of senior night festivities for the HANA Boys Volleyball Program to kind of come together, honor Isaiah's memory, and a really touching, touching scene, a chicken skin moment, if you will, out in HANA, and you were there for it, Rob. Yeah, it was, and, and Jordan, it was a senior night unlike any other the Dragons have ever had. A packed Parley J. Kanaka Ole gym was filled with emotion, a moment of silence, a simple cheer of Isaiah from his teammates who were fighting back tears before the match, and then... A sweep of Seabury kind of lifted the uh, entire gym's uh, spirits. Hana wore pink socks, which was Isaiah's favorite color. The Spartans, uh, in a classy move, wore green socks in support of Hana's fallen teammate. Yeah, and the, the honoring of Puakima's memory kind of took place throughout the league. The ML Division II softball tournament was going on on Molokai. Uh, the Hana girls softball team actually gathered around a cell phone and listened to the pregame ceremony that was going on in Hana at the boys volleyball senior night. Uh, Division one volleyball tournament was also ongoing this past week. Uh, on Thursday semifinal, uh, kind of the day the news all broke and came down, the MIL volleyball community rallying around them. Uh, before the Baldwin Kamehameha nightcap semifinal, uh, there was a moment of silence. Uh, both the Warriors and Bears wore green and gold socks in memory of Puakima. Some of them had the number two, you know, displayed different parts around their uniform. Uh, that was Puakima's number. Uh, the Bears continued to wear the green and gold socks in the league championship match Friday. And uh, just a tragic story, but a, really uh, some heartfelt uh, stories coming out of it with, with the, the way the, the, the county and, and, and the different communities have rallied around. Uh, the tragic passing of Isaiah Puakima, and and as you know, the, those kind of honorings came around. What was a hugely busy uh, MIL slate of action going around this week? Yeah, and and uh, Puakima's younger sister, part of that uh, softball team uh, on Molokai, had to be incredibly tough for her to uh, be away from the Hana community, which is so tight knit. And uh, yeah, just I, I believe that this Hana team is going to rally around this this tragedy and, and make a run not only through the MIL tournament that is this week, the Division II tournament that is this week, I believe they're going to make a run at the state tournament as well. Uh, in MIL track Friday and Saturday night, uh, we all got one last look at Dakota Grossman of Seabury Hall. Um, she will take at least eight state gold medals, guaranteed more than that, with her to the University of Utah in the fall. And her emerging teammate, Alyssa Bettendorf, uh, who is headed to northern Colorado. Yeah, the Spartans are serious, serious contenders for the girls' state championship. Alyssa Bettendorf had herself quite a night uh, on Saturday at the at, uh, Yamamoto track. Three individual meet records in the 100, 200, and the long jump, besting her long jump previous PR by over a foot to make a 27 year old league mark and then added a fourth league uh, meet record to her uh, repertoire as she was teamed up uh, as part of the 4 by 400 team that won uh, the 1600 meter relay beating the previous league record by seven seconds. Uh, this Spartan team is very, very good. On the boys side of thing, Baldwin wins their ninth straight league crown uh, on strength of uh, three individual champions. Yeah, and uh, in in softball, Baldwin behind Sanai Nakoa, Skylin Elazar, who is headed to the University of Maryland in the fall, and freshman sensation Navai Kalpe wrapped up an unbeaten run through the MIL. They will be joined at the state tournament by Lahaina Luna, and then uh, the mess that is Division II softball got settled on Molokai. Yeah, it was a logjam, four-way tie at the top of things. 
in the regular season. Molokai comes out of that. They also win the league championship, uh, league tournament championship to clinch the overall championship. They'll be joined by second place Lanai. They finish second regular season tournament. And then that uh, emotional uh, Hana team that made the run with Puakima's sister, they finished third by beating Seabury. And the Dragons will earn a playoff on Saturday against the second place team out of the Kauai Interscholastic Federation at uh, at uh, Maui High Field with a chance to clinch the final state berth in the 12 team and my uh, state girls softball tournament. In uh, Division I boys volleyball, King Keikalike uh, wrapped up the MIL title and will host a state quarterfinal next week. Yeah, Maui unbeaten in Division I. They will host uh, the winner of Waianae and OIA runner up Lelehua at 3 o'clock at their gymnasium on Saturday. MIL runner-up Baldwin will go to Oahu for a Friday first-round game against OIA number five Campbell, winner to play OIA champion Moana Lua. And uh, kind of to wrap things up, the last uh, MIL championship tournament that was going on in a busy week, MIL girls water polo. Water polo, uh, the, the Luna, Lahaina Luna's Julia Bianco scored with 11 seconds left, uh, maybe to the uh, uh, delight of all avoiding... Uh, another overtime game. Baldwin came into that match having played seven overtimes in their previous two matches, including a four overtime loss to the Lunas in the regular season title game. Um, Courtney Gallerita had six goals and the game-winning assist to the freshman Bianco and Lalile Mataafa added four goals to the Lunas. Uh, Baldwin, which played very well in that match, will also be at the state tournament in Jordan this week. A couple of big things coming up. Yeah, uh, state tennis going on down in Wailea at the later part of this week. That'll be a big event kind of going on in the aisle, and then maybe the marquee event for MIL fans, MIL baseball tournaments kicking off this week. Both boys, uh, Division One and Division Two baseball tournaments, uh, Baldwin's the clear favorite in D1, Molokai the clear favorite in D2. That's our sports report for this week, and send us your bobbleheads.